Welcome back. Week three, and we are in full swing. Tonight, five of the teams that we are bringing you have undefeated records. One of them will suffer a loss tonight. What about the others? Let's head out to the action and take a look at those teams. First game we have is Victoria at Quivira Heights. Here we see Victoria Knights enter. And then we have the Quivira Heights Thunderbirds entering the field. Quivira, number seven, Brett Otley, quarterback keeper a few yards. Victoria, pass play to number 50, Andrew Carling, catches it for some yards. Victoria again, number seven, Brett Otley, running forward, is finally brought down by the defense. Here we see the Victoria coaches. In this play, Victoria number 15, Garrett Dryling, Runs downfield, finally brought down. Victoria number 34, Cameron Dinkle, pushes forward. Victoria offense, moving downfield. In this play, we have Victoria number 33, Austin Roth, pushing through. In this play, Victoria number seven, Brett Oddly, catches, and he's finally pushed out of bounds. In this play, Victoria number 33, Austin Roth, pushes through for the touchdown. Quivira Heights number 22, Nick Shetman, has a good run with some yards. 22, Nick Shetman with the carry. Again, Quivira Heights number 22, Nick Shetman, rumbles through for a good game. Quivira Heights number 33, Tyler Simpson catches the pass, nice catch. In this play, Quivira Heights, number four, Jacob Ingham, catches for a big game. In this play, Quivira Heights, number two, Gunner Felon, quarterback keeper, and he's finally brought down by the Knights. Quivira Heights, number four, Jacob Ingham, takes it in for the touchdown. Final score, Victoria 52, Quivira Heights 48. Next game we go to is Logan at Lakeside. Here we see some Lakeside boosters. Lakeside kicking it off. And it is received by Logan's number 21, Bryce Salmon. In this play, Logan, handoff to number 21, Bryce Salmon, as he pushes through for some yards. Again, we have another handoff to Bryce Salmon as he runs it down and he's taken down by the Knights. Lakeside number 25, Co Weiss, dashes down for some yards. In this play, Logan fakes out Lakeside. Lakeside number 25, Co Weiss, advances the ball. Lakeside again, number 25, Co Weiss, runs downfield for a good game. Again, we have number 25, Co Weiss, as he has the ball and runs it in for the touchdown. In this play, Lakeside number seven, Miles Thomas gets the two point conversion. And here we see some younger fans. And this one, Logan number 34, Tracy Archer makes a good run for some yards. Logan number 14, Tyson Papps catches the ball, gets tackled in the air. Lakeside number 25, Co Weiss, receives the kick and runs it back for a very good kick return. Lakeside number 11, Conan Stores, gets the ball and gets tackled. Final score Logan 20, Lakeside 66. The next game we have is Stockton at Wilson. And here Dragons' Calvin, Calvin Waddleton rumbles up the middle for a big game. Stockton defense stops Wilson for a loss on the play. In this play, Tigers' Gabe Duncan takes the pitch as he runs down the field. And he's going all the way to the end zone for the touchdown. Misplay Stockton's Duncan again with a long run as he goes for another touchdown. Wilson Dragons looking to pass 
Quarterback Kenny Steinle throws it to Caitlin Patachik, wide open in the end zone for a touchdown. In this play, Wilson Steinle keeps the ball for the extra two points. Final score is Stockton 42, Wilson 30. Now to Republic County while they traveled to Beloit, and it was a pink night out as the cancer fundraiser was in Beloit this evening. In this play, Beloit Lane Coster runs down for a good game. Trojans Paul Fuller runs it in and goes in for the touchdown. Lane Coster returns this punt all the way to the end zone. You see the fans? In this play, Coster gets a very long run down the sideline, but he is stopped short by the Buffaloes. Trojans Luke Chambers takes the ball to the corner, but it is just short of the touchdown. In this play, we see Beloit driving it in for the touchdown. Final score, Beloit 72, Republic County zero. Now to Pike Valley in St. John's Tipton. It was homecoming for Tipton St. John's and the winners were Grant Denneke King and Queen Corbin Brockelman. And here we see Denneke handing off to Josh Wessling, breaks the tackle, tiptoes down the sideline, takes it all the way downfield for the touchdown. touchdown for St. John's In this play, Pike Valley, Dalton Boyer, back to pass, decides to keep it, takes it up the middle for a nice game but there's flags on the play against the Blue Jays. Boyer again back to pass, gets it off. It is broken up by Junior Hollerich. Blue Jay Denneke back to pass, does finally get it off just in time. It's a long bomb downfield caught by Hollerich and quickly brought down, but with some more flags. Blue Jay pitch to Colby Faber. He takes it down the near sideline, all the way in for the touchdown. Final score, Pike Valley 20, St. John's Tipton 46.